Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Infinite Resources 2020. And depending on how long I use this intro for, either the future or the past. Let's get started. So, let's go make one of those. And I'll keep these blaze rods, which I've got now, you know, half the blaze rods that I had. So, what a great spawner system so far. Oh well. I'm learning. I'm learning new things. Always a good idea. So let's get an atomic reconstructor, reconstructor, and I need a lens. What kind of lens? I want an Ashley Editions lens. So they have those kinds. They have these. I believe I want lens of the killer. Let's see here. I'm going to have to look it up, though, I think. Let's see. Lens certain death plus sharpness 5 and a sword gives you lens of the killer. I forget which one's which. One of them kills things without drops. One of them kills things with drops. So let's see here. Let's look for lenses. Um, hmm. Let's look into lenses. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, they have different features. I know that. Okay. Lens of certain death. Okay. Deal damage, whatever hits it. Okay, cool. Yep, that's a good idea. Lens of the killer. Also, drop experience and player kill loot. Okay, a lot more power. Yeah. Okay. What's an experience solidifier? I want one of those. Uh... Player's experience turned into solidified experience? How is that supposed to work? If you put it in solidified, pick up any XP ores on the ground. Hmm. Okay. This might be useful. Might have a better range than uh, some other things. Let's take you away and you away. All right, uh, so I want Lens of the Killer. So we're going to need uh, a Lens of Detonation. So a Lens of Color, which is a Lens. Okay, there we go. Uh, glass around Black Quartz gets the Lens. So we're, we're, we're at the st step one. Step one, make a Lens. Uh, put that to get a Lens of Color. All right. Let's see here, where is our original constructor? Cool, lens of color. And then I think uh, you come a detonation lens, yep. And then you should be a lens of certain death. And then the other one, the final one, which I took off just a minute ago. Yeah, Diamond Sword and Sharpness 5 book. Okay, that should be doable. Really? No up from you? It's been up from you? Okay. About Machine Room. Going the wrong way, but that's okay. Alright, so... Sharpness 5 book. That's probably some quartz. Want one of you, which I need, yeah, lots of quartz and lapis. So, quartz, lapis, and a book and quill. Let's go get one of those guys. Probably need like 30 some levels. Hopefully, yeah, that's enough. Ah, one more. I was so close. Alright, let's uh, try that again. Here we go. Sharpness 5. So now I need a diamond sword. Oh, where'd I go? Where am I? This way. Diamond sword. Let's get one of you.
upgrade my Danknaw to a diamond version. Holds more dirt for me when I'm building stuff, when I'm making sure platforms. Wasn't that important, but you know, I wanted it, so. There we go, ends of the killer. Alright, so now we can use these two guys to murder things. But first we're going to need an attractor obelisk. Teach how to make these guys, huh? Mm, let's do that. Okay. Don't know if I'll make any more of these, but, you know, I don't want to... This one is harder to make. I need a soul binder. Emerald and a soul binder of a villager? I forgot about that. Well, I know where a village is, but... I forgot I need one of those. Where are my soul vials? Uh, let's see, here's a village uh, not too far away, actually. <laughs> I guess relatively not too far away. Alright, I'll be back when I get a soul vial of a villager. I can keep working on this. Alright, I've got my villager in the soul vial so we can make the attractor obelisk. Um, I want to switch over to using a mod duplicator, just to a foregoing. I watched a video from MC Jetty, and basically the spawner setup to get all of the, uh, you know, the the matter in there and balance things out, it's complicated and annoying. You can use R tools control, which I mean, okay, that's great, but you have overcomplicated your design in my opinion. So you know, I don't want it to be that hard to do this. So, I mean, if there were only mod available, you know, I'd figure it out. But uh, since I've got at least two other options. I could even, you know, box in a spawner in the nether and use Cursed Earth to keep it spawning, and I could do something like that. So, there are more options, and all of them are easier than your setup. So, just going to go with MFR, or Initial 4 going. But we will use Action Editions and Ender IO to get our Tractor Obelisk. So, I needed an enticing crystal, didn't I? So, yeah, that's an Emerald with a Soul Vowel. So vile of a villager. All right. Got four stacks of emeralds. That's not bad. Okay, so soul binder. Emerald plus soul vial plus four levels equals crystal. You know that number over there. Uh, it was over 202 levels. So, at that high of experience, I guess we are using quite a bit of experience to generate uh, stuff. So, at some point, we may have to switch over to Essence. But we'll see. Alright, there we go. We've got that crystal in here. Should be able to make the Attractor Obelisk now. Uh, I don't have... Oh, I have no soul attuned dial. I have no wooden gears. Hmm. Okay, we must put the pattern in wrong for that. Let's uh, let's get that pattern out and change the gear type. So, let's take you and erase him. And let's go back over here to the attractor obelisk. I think it's confused. Yeah. That confused it. Okay, uh, no. I want the other wooden gear. Can we make you? No, we can't. Well, whatever. Don't worry about it right now. Okay, that's what I want right now. Don't have any soul die, huh? Okay, let's get some of this guy. So, need... Organic brown dye, soul powder. Hopefully, we can make all those things. Let's find out. So, can we make an attractor obelisk? Come on, guys. Get together. Figure it out. No. You don't know how to make organic brown dye or soul powder. All right. Uh... Soul powder is pretty easy. That's just crushed solarium. So let's see here. I want the recipe for you. 
Okay, let's see here. Uh, slime ball and twice as many. We've got lots of eggs now. I don't know that it matters that much. Yeah, let's just get a slime ball. Uh, rice is fine. So there we go. That should be good for that stuff. Can you make that? How many do you have? You don't have any. You don't have enough to even get that. Okay, so let's see here. Dead bushes, that's almost a full thing. That's only 5%. Yeah. That's a shrub. Okay. Well, dead bush is a pretty good chance, too. Let's see here. Yeah, 2%. Okay, so either a shrub. Don't know how I'd get that. Or a dead bush. Or a fern. So, yeah. Dead bush is going to be our best option. So, we need to get a sag mill who gets us enough twigs and prunings. So, let's get a detector. And we need a sag mill. We don't have an extra sag mill lying around from one we didn't use or something. Like I didn't have one that was in here or something. That is weird. That frosty generator. It keeps snowing up my base. Um, yeah. I don't really want the tall kind. Um, let's make that kind. What are we missing? Some dark biometal gears. And what is that? Enhanced, uh... Industrial machine casing. Let's get one of those guys. Don't have any crushed lapis or organic green dye. Wow. So this is just going down a very deep rabbit hole now. Okay, well let's add crushed lapis. You should be going into a machine. I bet I had crushed diamond from, from industrial craft too, which is not the same crushed diamond. All right, um, let's see here. I want crushed lapis, and we want organic green dye. So, to get crushed lapis, let's see here. Pulverizer, sag mill, it's all the same. So, let's get one of those guys. Yep, you'll do. Organic green dye is clippings and trimmings in a slime bowl. Okay. All right, so let's see what of that we can do. All right, so the enhanced alloy smelter. Yep, you can make dead bushes. You should be able to make this guy and this guy. Okay, and you are an enhanced sag mill pattern. Okay, can you make industrial dye blend now? You've got those guys available. Can you make industrial machine casing? It says you can. Let's see if it means it. Yep, looks like it's okay. Okay, so can I make a sag mill now? There we go, a sag mill. You need a capacitor. All right, I've got that detector, right? Yep, okay. So, let me take the crushed diamond over here to this uh, furnace. So I want that to get cooked up into actual diamonds. So, weren't you diamonds at one point? Uh, let's see here. Do I... Hmm. We're not making chickens anymore. I guess we could get rid of this for now. Put you in there. 
you in diamonds. Good. Okay, so that's that. Let's go downstairs. Yeah, I want junction alpha. Ooh, running short on room. There are several machines that no longer need to be here, though. Like, for instance, uh, the cobblestone generator. Don't need that anymore. We've got cobblestone from digging. Uh, let's see here. This guy, I'm about to do away with him. The vat makes hooch rocket fuel. Don't need that anymore. Let's see here. Should make you an enhanced slice and splice. Not important, though. Um, sag mill over here. The vat. This is... Actually, this one's still important. This one is actually only that we actually need. Alright, what about in here? What can go over here? Like, uh... These guys aren't needed anymore. This is all to make that uh, rocket, that fuel, the refined fuel that we don't use anymore. I don't know if I'm taking stuff down. I want to just add... All right, we do have a couple more. Well, you're kind of hard to get to. All right, what's over here? All right, we're going to have one more machine here. And maybe here if we can route around. But right now, it looks like we not going to be a good idea to do that. So here, it should work, though. So, you're going to be my sag mill. Alright, where's that, uh... Yeah, I want another brick. Where's the brick? And you aren't brick either. Like, I, I just broke these, so... Where are they? I have no idea. I feel there is something that's picking stuff up. And based on the oinking I'm hearing, it's probably some up there. But I don't know. I don't need to worry about it right now. So, uh, we were going to export dead bushes into you. So, let's figure out a way to do that. <coughs> let's figure out a way to do that. So, I need uh, dead bushes. So, let's get one of you, and we'll tell it to make those. Alright, these guys are all starting to get pretty full. Oh, you got, you have nothing in you. You're fine. Okay. There we go. We'll get dead bushes from one of these guys, I think. Yeah, you. That'll work. Okay. So then, we're going to put dead bushes into you. I need an item filter. Yeah, you'll work. Okay, let's see here. I need to export... Not potatoes. Dead bushes into you. So, are you getting the dead bushes? No. No, you're not. You know, I've seen this before, and usually I have to break the conduit and restore it. Which I don't like having to do, because it doesn't make any sense. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So, let's try that again. And there it goes. Okay. Gonna be active with a signal. Yep, just, uh, ender eye was a little bit derpy. So, uh, let's get one of you, and if there are fewer than a stack of these guys, I want you to run. Let's grab a cable. Okay, and then we're going to say it needs you to pull out all the time. Okay, there we go. So now we'll always have plenty of twigs and prunes in the system. 
unless the counter size did not work for whatever reason. That's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to give it a like, maybe even a subscribe. If you didn't like today's episode, have you watched Tyrolf 20? Because he's awesome. Way better than I am. Check him out. See you next time.